Good morning, good morning, happy Sunday, happy last Sunday of the month of October. We are grateful to God. We are grateful for this mighty God that has done wonderful things in our life. That we are seeing the last Sunday of this month of October is really by God's grace. So I'm so happy and so joyful for today, for what God has done in our life, for being alive, for breathing, because it's only God that can take away our breath. But we are still in the land of the living and we are still breathing and God is still sustaining us and is still making us to know that he is always by our side and he's helping us to see reason why we should always praise and worship him daily every day of our life in the mighty name of jesus i bring you good news today the word of god for today is instructions of worship instructions of worship how do you worship god how do you communicate with god how do you see your life turning around when you worship God with a sincere heart. That is what I bring for you today, for you to get more understanding towards God's worship upon our life. So I'm going to read from 1 Timothy chapter 1 from verse 2. And the 1 Timothy chapter 1 no, 1 Timothy chapter 2, not chapter 1, chapter 2. 1 Timothy chapter 2, I'm going to read from verse 1, and which says, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable, peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth of God. And it five says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. That is Christ Jesus. He is the, the Alpha and Omega and the beginning and the end. And six says, he, who gave himself a ransom for all that he died for our sins he died for our sake for for so that we might have life so that we might live to know that he is the son of man a son of god and not son of man who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time and it also says, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I would therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame faceness and sobriety not with broided hair or gold or paris or costly array but which becometh women prophesying godliness with good works let the woman learn in silence with all subjection but i suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, 
but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So, this verse is talking about worship. How we give supplications, our supplications, our prayers, our intercessions, intercession, in thanksgiving, how do we express it out to God? This is what the Bible verse is telling us about that for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. When you worship God, you see that you have a spirit-filled life. Another spirit invades you that will make you to commune with God and which is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You commune into the Spirit and it will give you that freshness of the holiness of the Spirit that will make you to have that connection with the God Almighty. So, open your heart diligently and begin to receive from the Father. Receive the power, the power of His holiness, the power of His mightiness. Let it invade you. Let it build you up, build you out of that burden that will make you to release that good worship unto this good God today in the mighty name of Jesus. And make sure you always communicate in prayers too. Worship. Fill your surroundings with worship. Then you pray diligently. Pray unto this Father and you will see God giving you the, the, the light of how he operates in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said in this verse that he's saying um, five, I just love that place. He said, for there is one God which is Jesus Christ and which is God Almighty. There is one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So, as God laid his life for us, so shall we also lay our life for others to see example through us, to see that God is really helping us, he's really using us, he's really fighting our battles, he's really making us to feel comfortable with his word. So, as you continue to read your Bible, I would like you to read on your own time. When you have free time, you can read Ezra 6 verse 10, Romans 13 verse 1. You can still read 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 25, Galatians chapter 3 verse 20. When you read all those verses, then you will get more understanding about the instruction of worship, how to worship God in truth and in spirit. Worship is indeed a communicative uh, language which you communicate with God, an expression. You express yourself to the God Almighty. That is worship. You express yourself in worshiping Him, in giving Him gratitude. That is worship. So may God continue to bless you as you go to worship God today. May everything you pray for today be answered and acceptable in the sight of God today in the mighty name of Jesus. So may you have a wonderful Sunday today and make sure you 
continue to bless others by sharing this broadcast so that others shall be blessed through this ministration too in the mighty name of Jesus. So have a wonderful Sunday today and have a lovely week as we enter the new week. May you enter with goodness and mercy and let everything you lay your hands to do let it prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. As we enter into the new month of November, it shall favor us. It shall uplift us in different dimensions. Our hands shall be blessed. Our marriages shall be blessed. Our children shall be blessed. Our husbands shall be blessed. Our wives shall be blessed. The ones seeking for the fruit of the womb shall receive in double fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is looking for a job opportunity you shall be granted this job opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus and those that are expecting God to do one thing or the other in their life God will do a new thing in their life in the mighty name of Jesus have your way God Lord Jesus and make a way for us as we enter the new month of November in the mighty name of Jesus have a wonderful Sunday and God bless you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name.